I think that's the way that a lot of people should be moving in general. Mm. I mean, you have your small little achievements and your little yeah. goals, but they should always be leading towards a big that's one. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And exactly I, th- right. I think that makes that big goal more achievable and exactly. it makes it less scary. 100%. hundred percent. hundred percent. There's a... I saw you put up something on Instagram last week um, through the Advisory Corp um, page and it said something along the lines of don't be scared to dream big. If you want yeah. to get that million, get that million. 100%. 100%. That is such a, I guess, big ask. Or it's if you said that to someone, oh, I'm planning on getting a million, like they'd be sort of stepping back and think, okay, what's wrong with you? Yeah. But you're right. It's about setting those massive goals. It's about trying to do everything you can to achieve it. 100%. And, and bro, that to, to everyone, that means something different, right? Like the reason, the reason I talk about financial goals is that by nature, it's what I do. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it hurts me when people... Sometimes when I have a meeting with someone, I always go through, you know, what's, what are you doing now and where do you want to be? And they get nervous. They get shy about telling me where they want to be. But I've seen, I've seen it all. Like I've seen, I've worked in the mid tiers, the corporates. I've seen some big numbers. I've seen some small numbers and I've seen everything in between. So I'm very normal, normal about just sharing. What are your big goals? Like yeah. no, one, no one answers that enough. Like what are your, forget about what's in the realm of, you know, what you consider realistic. We underestimate what we can do in 10 years, but we overestimate what we can do in one year. So it's like, give me the big picture. Where do you want to be? Let's get steps and let's put some things in order to sort of get there, regardless if it's financial, if it's I want to get married within a 10 year, you know, time frame, whether it's I want to have a ministry within a you know X amount of years or just something like that. Just set a big audacious goal that you're sort of heading towards and build your path there, um, regardless of what aspect of your life it's in. I'm a big believer in that, for sure. I, I think you're right, because I found myself doing it recently. I mm. think a lot in business terms now. Mm. Um, <laughs> and I'm not even, I don't even run a business. But in every aspect of my life, whether it be relational, ministry-wise, or personal, or in work, I'm thinking business-wise. Like a business would do this, so I should be doing this, if, yeah. that, makes, if that makes for sure. sense. I for think sure. a lot of those... Um, those mindsets and a lot of those uh, goals do translate into other parts of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And even like whether it's, I want to lose weight, I want to attend church more. I want to read my Bible more. For example, um, at Elevate last year, I remember I talked, I gave audible a plug. Yes, yes. <laughs> do you remember that? I, do. I, said, I said, guys, if we, if, if you get audible, I didn't know you could get the Bible app on, uh, through its own app, but I said on Audible, it's only X amount of hours. And I'm always thinking about, look, if it's X amount of hours and I do X amount per day, it means within X amount of time, I can hit that. And so, bro, I, I, I listened, read slash listened to the whole New Testament in like the first quarter of this calendar year, right? Never, I had never really done that before. We all, I think we all have heard most of the Bible by way of chunks, sermons, you know, sort of everything in between. I purposely do that. Age yeah, yeah exactly but and but i just i would never considered it always seems like such a big task like oh it's, it's so long and whatever but when you said it okay i want to do this and i broke it down and I, I listened to x amount per day and then you start getting into the habit you start getting addicted to the i need to read i haven't you know and so like i said regardless of what aspect of life it's in set your major goal and work backwards and, and backtrack um, they say a chess master knows their next, I think it's 20 or 50 moves. Um, and anything, you know, I've, I've read a book up there that's called Your Next Five Moves. And that's what's got me thinking about, you know, always just planning, setting big goals, backtracking, and then meeting those along the way. I think that's the way that I tick. Uh, that's the way I think, um, yeah, in general, you know, I think that's, that's what works for me. So, yeah. 